That's Rise here on Real Life Radio. It is 910. It's Mark and Carrie in the morning on this Wednesday. And Carrie, well, there's a special event coming up in Mount Vernon on Saturday, July 29th. And it's, uh, what's the title of it? Superheroes, A Night to Fly. And someone that knows quite a bit about what's going to happen on Saturday, July 29th is Pastor Tim Reynolds. In Mount Vernon, Pastor Tim, good morning, and thanks for taking time to join us this morning here with Mark and Carrie in the morning. Good morning, Mark and Carrie, and thank good you so much for having me on this morning. I certainly do appreciate it. Well, what superhero are you going to be that night? i got to ask you that question first. Well, you know, that's a good question. I don't know. My wife hasn't told me yet. I, I would think Incredible Hulk, but she might say Spider-Man or something. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I was going. I was thinking. I was thinking you would fit the role of uh, the the uh, lead uh, performer in The Incredibles. Oh, you think so? Huh? Yeah, I think so. I think I think the mask would fit you perfectly. <laughs> well, I may just have to try that. I hadn't even given it much thought. Well, <laughs> well, tell us what's going to happen on July 29th there with superheroes and Night to Fly, Tim. Well, you know, it's, it's really going to be a neat event. We uh, we've never had anything like this before, and uh, when we were on vacation a few weeks ago. Uh, Melissa and I began talking about Vacation Bible School and what to do about our little girl Isabella. Isabella is five and she has special needs, as you know. And we began to talk about what do other parents and caregivers do with children that do not get to attend Vacation Bible School and events like that. So we began just talking and one thing led to another and we came up with this idea of superheroes, a night to fly. Uh, and the reason we named it that is because we believe these children and adults with special needs and their parents and caregivers are superheroes. Uh, we know what it's like to stay for weeks at a time in the hospital and to uh, travel back and forth, disrupts the family routine and all. So we want to give back and provide activities for 
the uh, kids and adults with special needs, and we're doing something special for uh, their parents and caregivers as well. Uh, we chose the, the theme verse from Hebrews 13 and verse 2 that says, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for by these you entertain uh, angels unaware. And uh, so we've, we've uh, used that verse as our theme, and what we're doing is we are going to have face painting. We've got a, a clown that's going to come and do balloon tying. Uh, we are having a petting zoo. Uh, the Lions Club in Mount Vernon is providing uh, little train rides around our property. Uh, we are grilling hot dogs and hamburgers and just all sorts of fun activities. And then for the uh, parents and caregivers, we're having a special spaghetti dinner with salad, dessert, drinks, and we also have gift baskets where area businesses have donated items and gift cards and things like that that we're going to give. And it's all absolutely free. There's no cost to this at all. You know, that's such a lineup there, Tim. And, you know, if it wasn't for the businesses that support you, you wouldn't be able to put, put on an event such as this, right? Oh, man, there's no way. Yeah, because, and you know, when you start something like this, it just continues to, to bloom. And uh, people have come out of, uh, out of everywhere to say, hey, how can we help? How can we donate? And, and we have volunteers uh, that don't even attend our church that have said, hey, this is a neat thing. We want to come and help you out. Right now we have about 120 volunteers wow. that are going That's to be awesome. here to help us. Yeah, I it's love really it. neat. Yeah, that, that is awesome. You know, and, it, and it, it's going to be a memorable night, Tim. And, and how long is it going to run from? Well, it's going to be from 5 to 8 p.m., and uh, something else, too, is we have a local photographer, uh, Kaylin Sauger, who's donated her services to come, and we're going to take individual photos uh, and provide these free of charge uh, of those that attend, along with superheroes, too. So, uh, yeah, 5 to 8, and we're packing a lot in within a three-hour period. Now, if, if it's going, let me ask you this, if it's going on really well and, and God leads it on your heart to maybe go a little longer with it, will you do that? Oh, absolutely, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll go on till uh, some of us are wore out. I guess you know. <laughs> we have already registered folks all the way from from 11 months old to 76 years old. Oh my and goodness! Some areas down near uh, Heron and Carbondale, over toward Collinsville, and uh, so like I say, it's just kind of taken off, and uh, we we really don't know uh, how many will will show up and, yeah. and what to expect. But we're uh, Lord willing, we're we're prepared for it. That is so awesome. Now, there is a registration deadline for this, right, Tim? And the reason why is because they want a T-shirt, right? Right, yes. Well, what we'd like them to do, if, if folks are interested, is to go on to uh, one of our church websites, mountvernonbaptisttemple.com or waltonvillecommunitychurch.com. You can go to either one and register, and uh, that way we can get T-shirts ordered. We're providing free T-shirts for all of our volunteers, everyone who attends, now, we will not turn folks away that, that do not register early. If they come that night, you know, just jump right in. But we may not have a T-shirt available, and we'll have to get them at a later date. But if we're, if we're going to have the T-shirts, we need them to register by uh, Sunday the 23rd. You know, this is such an awesome program. Do you, do you foresee this? And I know it's early. Do you think this will be an annual hey, event? Can't. Yes. Say yes. yes. <laughs> absolutely. You know, whenever uh, I would not have thought of something like this 10 years ago, but having a little girl with special needs has really opened our eyes mm -hmm. to the need that is out there. And it's opened our heart, you know, uh, going to a children's hospital and seeing a 10-year-old uh, completely bald and walking with, a, you know, a chemotherapy, yeah. uh, IV and things like that. It really opens your eyes to, to the, and some of these parents that, man, for months at a time, they are there at the hospital and they're trying to hold down their job and trying to sleep. And, and uh, so we really have a heart for these folks. You know, Carrie, you used to work with special needs kids. How important is this for the community? Very important. I have a special little girl that I um, have worked with in the last school year, and she just got out of the hospital yesterday, actually, and I talked to her mom about 10 o'clock last night, so I know all wow. about those visits to the hospital. <laughs> Long and exhausting. Oh, they are, absolutely. You know, and, and we've stayed at places like the Ronald McDonald House, and what a blessing that is because, you know, it's expensive. You think of the fuel and the overnight costs and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, as I said, these folks are superheroes trying to, to balance all of these uh, these things. And, and then you have, have your kids that are, are healthy, and, and you want to try and keep things as, as sure. regular for them as you can. So, you know, it's just something that I, I pray that the Lord uses and we can do on a regular basis. Now, are you encouraging uh, not only the, the children, 
children that come and attend this, Tim, but uh, everyone to come and dress up as their favorite superhero. Are you encouraging that? Yes, absolutely. We still those that attend, if they want to dress up, several of our, of our volunteers are going to be around here dressed in Batman and Spider-Man and everything else, you know. So, yeah, and that makes it even more neat uh, for our guests that are going to be here. Kind of like a costume party, and then you guess who the superhero behind that mask is, right? That's right, absolutely. And, you know, while I'm thinking about it as well, we will have registered nurses here. We have several nurses who are volunteering awesome. their services. And Litton Ambulance in Mount Vernon uh, is going to be here on hand just in case we have any type of medical emergency. So, you know, we wanted everyone to, to, to feel... You know, like if there was a health issue or something mm-hmm. come up, that we've got the help here to, to help out with that. Uh-huh. It sounds like you've dotted your I's and crossed your T's, ready well, to go. Well, the time you think you have something else, you know, <laughs> somebody gives you another thought or something. But uh, yeah. any time you start something new, you know, you've got the uncertainty of it. But sure. uh, we're, we're still, we're sure looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, and how long did it take? I, I know that you've been, this has been on your heart for a long time, but how, how long did it take for you to put this all together and how quickly did it come together, Tim? You know, I would like to tell you that we've spent months on it. We haven't. We, we went on vacation in June and uh, began talking about it, and we set the date for July 29th. So that tells you we quickly. <laughs> I like that. Our, yeah, we just kind of put our, our minds together and begin to talk to other people. Uh-huh. And other friends of ours have jumped in and helped. Uh, the friends like Luther Torres has, has uh, helped get sponsors and jumped in and said, hey, where can I help you? And, and Judy Morgan. And just we've had several people that are that are volunteering their time and services, and it's, it's just kind of snowballed. Now, if someone still wants to volunteer, Tim, it's not too late to volunteer. Right? No, that's right. And they can contact me personally uh, by contacting us uh, on my cell phone would be fine. Um, or they can call our church number, might be even better, 618 244 5404. And, uh, you know, you don't have to attend our church to volunteer. As I said, we've had folks that have said, hey, this is a neat thing. Uh, can we help out? And uh, we're going to need buddies. We're, we're calling them buddies to go around the, the different areas. Where we've got crafts and, and face painting and all these things just to help guide, guide them along. So, yeah, we'll take any volunteers. That are Can you give that phone number again? Yes, it's 618-244-5404. All right. Tell us all, uh, give us a big rundown again, Tim, uh, uh, when uh, you mentioned July 29th. Uh, uh, what's going to happen? Uh, there's food available. Give us all the... Uh, all the information you have again. All right, I'll just I'll put it all out there. Yeah. It's called Superheroes: A Night to Fly. It will be Saturday, July the 29th, uh, from 5 to 8 p.m. It will be at Mount Vernon Baptist Temple. We're located at 817 Woodland Drive, just off of Route 37 South in Mount Vernon. Uh, some folks know where the Christian School is in Mount Vernon. That that's the location. Uh, we've got five acres. We've got plenty of room here for all the activities. We will have music and entertainment, games, activities, crafts, petting zoo, face painting, uh, Lions Club train rides, water dunk tank, uh, grilling hamburgers and hot dogs, funnel cakes, we're even having those. Uh, And then also the spaghetti dinner uh, for all of the parents and caregivers, as well as gift baskets with cards and certificates. And there's absolutely no charge uh, to it at all. Uh, And if folks uh, can pre-register, we would like them to do that on our website. Uh, MountVernonBaptistTemple.com or WaltonvilleCommunityChurch.com. Register that way; we can have a T-shirt for you. If you do not get registered and you just show up, that's okay too. Let me ask you this, Tim. I, I you know, I know if if we don't have anything planned that night, I think Sherry and I is going to we're going to try to come over. But let me ask you this: uh, the anticipation of the huge crowd that you have. What about parking? Anybody have any concern about parking? Is there parking going to be plenty of parking available? I know you have a lot of acreage there. Right. We will have parking available. and In fact, our volunteers are going to, going to be parking off the parking lot, so we leave room for everyone. We will have folks that will have walkers and, and wheelchairs. We're making it available where they can pull right up close to the building to be able to, to get out. And, uh, yes, we have room on the parking lot. We may have to park folks in the yard, but that's quite okay, too. You know, this event, as you mentioned, is so important not only to the Mount Vernon area, but to all area communities, and you're opening it up for anyone that has special needs children. And, you know, I, I can tell you right now, I foresee this, Tim, to be huge that you may have to move it in, <laughs> in next year if it's that big and you anticipate such a big crowd, you know, and you're going to be planning for next year. you got to have those options available, right? 
exactly. You know, and we uh, we we have we've had people say, well, hey, should we should we maybe cap this and and say only a certain number could come? And I don't want to do that. I want to make it available to whoever wants to come. And you know, if we if we're squeezed in and and all that's all right, it'll be safe and, <laughs> and everything else. We just want folks to come and enjoy a nice evening. As I said, you know, a lot of our our, our friends with special needs don't get to go to activities like this because of their their physical handicap and things like that. And we we want them to come and enjoy the evening. And you're including adult special needs folks yes, also, yes, right? Absolutely, yeah. As I said, no age we, limit. We no, no age limit. We we even had a 76 year old man uh, that has registered that is going to be able to be here. So we 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 are not limited to age or anything like that. Awesome. Well, I got to ask you this: What you've explained all this to Bella? What's she thinking about it? <laughs> well, she's looking forward to it. You know, Bella, she can't walk or crawl or anything, and, and Bella has a trach. We have to, to suction sure. her on a regular basis, and, and she has a feeding tube. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, Bella enjoys life. It's such a yeah. – when you have a child with, with special needs, it keeps you humble. Amen. Uh, you start your day out, and they, they're the first priority. You have to take care of all of their needs. And Bella, she'll be rolling around here on the floor somewhere that night. That's what she'll be doing. She rolls <laughs> everywhere she goes. And uh, she's become quite a dad girl lately. If I walk in the room, boy, she just comes rolling right over to me, and uh, she's she's uh, special. And our, our, our boys, we have three boys, two of them are teenagers, and they're so wonderful with Isabella. Right. They, they take care of all of her needs and everything, and so we, we thank God for that. She's, she's taught our family uh, many lessons. Sure, sure. What an awesome night this is going to be, Tim. Again, uh, Saturday, July 29th. It's a week from this Saturday. Yes, sir. And going to be, again, give us the time frame on that, Tim. It begins at 5 o'clock. Uh, folks will probably begin arriving around 4.30 or so. We will have everybody here available and ready to go. But it begins at 5, and uh, we're shooting for 8 o'clock. But like you say, if things are going uh, good, people are enjoying it, uh, we'll go uh, till <laughs> however long it takes. Yeah, you'll go till the next morning when you're ready to give your sermon, right? Yeah, you know, that's the thing. I may still just have to stay the night here and, <laughs> and preach on Sunday. Yeah, there you go. All right, my friend. Well, what a fun night this is going to be, Tim, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank Superheroes. you so much for the well, idea and sharing with community. Absolutely. Mark and Carrie, thank you again for taking the time out to allow me to come on and speak. About Absolutely. This yeah, thanks, Tim. We'll see you soon, my friend. Take All care. All right. Lord bless you guys. Thank, thank you. you. All thank right. You. All right. I'll see you, my friend. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Pastor Tim Reynolds from the Mount Vernon Baptist Temple and Waltonville Community Church on this outstanding program coming up Saturday, July 29th.